Hey guys, my name is Harris Quadir. I'm currently in my fourth year in architecture here at LSU from Lake Charles, Louisiana, and I'm currently the presidential candidate for a f around and find out uh, in this current student government election. Right. So I think that's a really great question. I think that's one of the strongest points of some of the past presidents. Um, for example, if we take the past administration with President Bowman, he was serving as a senator, and I think having that understanding of how Senate works can really be utilized in the executive department, because then you can get legislation done, you can lobby senators to get certain funding, um, and it, creating that uh, great establishment would be really great. Um, seeing that if I was to, of course, uh, be in this position in the executive department, um, it would be great because I would have understanding of the legislative department, also have contacts in the legislative department, so that would create an enabling of the legislative branch in a way that probably hasn't been done in the recent past at all. So for us, it's to take a campaign and instead of planning it months and years in advance, to plan it within the weeks and to show and illuminate that the student government election can be a lot more accessible than you would think. Because a lot of times there's a cultural change or a cultural setting around uh, these student government elections where you have your two main candidates. Sometimes you have a third party candidate, uh, maybe a fourth one, but usually it's two main candidates and no one else considers running because you know it's embarrassing or whatever it might be. There's no point in trying to run because you can't have a serious run. So for us to run, we said, why don't, why not? Because we have nothing to lose. And so it's kind of just set a cultural change that you can run for student government president. Um, anyone can do it. There's no restrictions. You don't have to be well-connected student. Uh, you don't have to be Greek. Um, you don't have to fall into any specific category in, our, in order to get up and run. And so that's one of our main values and platforms for this election. Um, another thing is we're super qualified. Um, I've been in a student senate for a couple of years um, and able to complete a lot of initiatives. I think talk is cheap around here, and so a lot of the other candidates I believe have um, great policies, but I'd like to see a lot more of like what they've done in their past to illuminate their ability to actually complete those actions. For me and Matt personally, we've worked with several administrators to complete several initiatives, so having that understanding of how administration works and how we can actually effectively get done is something that's very differing for, uh, for us. And uh, definitely, unconventionality is the main focus of our campaign. It's something that's going to be carried through our administration. Um, we believe, obviously, the old methods aren't working. If every year we're hearing the same things, we hear that student government needs to do more outreach, students don't know what's going on, the same recurring issues. And so if the same methods aren't working, we need to switch it up, and unconventionality is the focus around it. Hence our name, F*** around and find out because we're trying to bring a little bit of lightness to the student government election. Student government elections have become so serious and so competitive in the past few years, and we believe they should be taken in a lighter manner. They should not be playing years and years in advance. And so that's something we're kind of trained here, and also within an administration, that there does not need to be this set precedent every year for the same thing to happen. And so that kind of starts with how we campaign. Definitely. I think it's you kind of have to mix the both. You got to take the goods and bad, see what's working, see what's not working. Um, the previous administrations, not just the past administration, but the administrations before, have started groundwork on a lot of things. And the issue with student government is that because we are students, we come here and we graduate in four years. And so the administration counts on us graduating in four years. And so with that, we're unable to complete a lot of things. But if we're building off one another, we're able to complete more things. That's something that me and uh, Matt have learned in our previous, our previous roles in student government. We're both both chairs in the student senate um, and so getting things done is quite hard on here uh, it takes a lot of work a lot of time and a lot of patience a lot of the initiatives i've been able to succeed have not mined my personal uh, personal initiatives they've been building off of others and actually getting them done so i think making sure that you know something that's already been started needs to be completed because all these initiatives do take a lot of work policies do not happen in one year and i'll guarantee that a lot of our policies will not be completed in the one in the next year but we will set them up in a way that they can be continued and they can be effectively completed so that's a great question as well. I think one thing we always hear year after year is what does student government do? What do we kn we're known for? Um, personally, in my role as a previous senator, as currently the senator, or as currently the chair of budget and appropriations in the Senate committee, um, I have been trying to push forward for more of us for all of our funding usage to have more advertisement of what the LSU student government that LSU student government is paying for this to have our logo more utilized and things that we're paying for but also outreach should be included on how we reach out to students I wanted to set up more weekly emails and subscription letters to our emails because we do have what's up in student government what's up in exec this week in senate we do have those email chains every every week going out to the current members in student government so have an opportunity for outside members to also kind of loop into that and be able to 
know what's going on. And that also falls into open vacancies. Vacancies are also, vacancies and positions are only uh, advocated to current student government members through their friends, through FLC, through their connections with people in the student government. For me personally, the way I came into student government was through an email chain that was broadcasted to the entire school. And I saw that there was a possibility of running for a student government senate position in the College of Art and Design. And seeing that, I was like, you know, like, why not? I have nothing to lose. Kind of signed up for it, and here I am. So having that email broadcast was extremely important for me. And I think working with strate strategic comms to, in order to complete those kind of initiatives and to get our, the word out there more for like what's going on and how we can include more people would be really important. Also moving forward with the executive applications that would be coming forward if we were to win, that would be also extremely important how we utilize that. Currently, our staff is not just all our friends. Well, it is actually, let me rephrase that. The staff is completely full of all of our friends and architecture and stuff like that. Now, these are friends that are not student government friends. These are not people who are looking to get into position in exec, and they're not people who are going to be going to be promoted to certain positions because of our friendship. So if elected, we would love to work with all the other campaigns, all the people who have been in the positions, and find who's actually fit for the position, not because of our friendships. And I think that's where we would include diversity and inclusivity to make sure this is for the best for students and not for the best for our resumes. That's a great question. So just starting with ourselves and understanding how we look like. Um, in the past few years, student government has started to look at themselves and see what demographics are included within our own government. Um, and taking that and making sure that's actually carried out because I have not seen those numbers. And so having those numbers, first of all, publicly made available to all other students on our website and then seeing those numbers and seeing where we're lacking and then reaching out to certain groups on campus. Secondly, there is the president's cabinet within the student government that's made up of all these different organizations and the past administrations have done a well job of uh, including different organizations of minority backgrounds and so including that and making sure they're represented and just speaking with them and making sure outreach is there. Just speaking on the issue itself, it's definitely understandable where a lot of students are coming from and understanding that. We launched only a few days ago, and the reason for that is that instead of spending years and weeks in advance um, trying to launch and gain the social media presence, um, we just felt it was unnecessary. A lot of students are not engaged in that, um, which is why we used, chose the name that we did. We want to be more engaging and more um, more with the students instead of being very pretentious and kind of just, you know, this is this very official student government campaign. We're a little bit more of a fun campaign, but we also bring a lot of originality and a lot of unconventionality, but also a lot of experience to the ticket. And so for those who um, might not understand, I definitely understand where they're coming from because our, also another thing we've been, this is just a side note, but our Instagram has been having issues, which is why we haven't gotten much um, of the work that we wanted out there. And so um, while we are currently working on getting more transparency with our platform out there, um, there's definitely a lot of experience here on this ticket. Um, getting things done is something that's not new to me and Matt, and that's something we're gonna continue to do. And so for those who are looking at um, voting on this election, while we are f***ing around and finding out, we're not a joke and we are serious and we are going to get things done around here. So a lot of the issues Matt and I have encountered in our past years within initiative work and policy work is that administrators are not always the most helpful or the most responsive and that's something we'd like to change with our new policy that would be an, admin that would be an administrative report card. Um, this administrative report card would kind of take how administrators work with us, engage with us, work with students and student leaders and taking that and kind of turning it into a report card. It would be kind of like Rate My Professor um, but a little bit more of in a different light with Rate My Administrator. And so we would hope this would kind of create more accountability and transparency with how administrators are willing to work with us. And from there, if administrators are working with us, we can accomplish a lot more policies and get a lot more things done. Yeah. Right. So for our campaign, we bring in a lot of unconventionality and a lot of originality to this campus and to this campaign and to this election. Um, a lot of campaigns have spent months and years in advance trying to prepare for this. And instead of preparing for a campaign, we've spent our time in student government trying to get things done, um, using our chair positions in Senate to accomplish more initiatives. And so with that being said, we want to we bring a new light to this administration, to this campus, and to this role.